Good evening, thanks for joining us on the news at 8. Today, the 6th day of June 2023. I am Chin Omai for the major headline. Governor Oti sacks all revenue enforcement officers. NLC suspends planned nationwide strike. Senate okays appointment of 20 special advisors by President Tinubu. We'll take a marshal about the details and many more. Stay connected. Experience the smooth and strong feeling that consistently surpasses expectation. Leading the way in high performance lubricants, Master Supermoto Oil is as durable as Titanic. Welcome back. Now, the details. Abbey State Governor Dr. Alex Oti has announced the termination of appointment of all revenue enforcement officers in the state with immediate effect. The governor, in a statement by his chief press secretary, Kazi Uko, made available to ABN TV, says this is part of the measures to sanitize activities around the transport sector and markets in the state. The affected appointees are urged to return government properties in their possession. The governor of Abia State, Dr. Alex Oti, has barred payments of state revenues from unauthorized channels, ABN TV reports. This is in an effort to ensure accountability and reporting, a release by Kazi Uko, Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, said on Tuesday. The Governor therefore directed that all payments should be made through designated bank branches. Ahead of the inauguration of Nigeria's 10th National Assembly on June 13, 2023, and the anticipated election of the Senate President, the All Progressive Congress APC South Korea Chapter has appealed to senators elect across political parties to prioritize equity, justice, and inclusiveness and fairness as guiding principle in the selection of its leadership. The APC diaspora members in a communique after a meeting in Seoul, Korea South last weekend noted that as Nigerians in the diaspora and members of the governing party, they express happiness over the nation's four years of democratic journey with inauguration of President Paula Ahmed Tinubu and Vice President Kashim Shatima, as well as 28 newly elected state governors. Governor of Imo State Hope Ozadima has stated that APC's nominations for National Assembly leadership positions is not an imposition. This was made known on Monday by Ozadima, who is the chairperson of the APC Governors Forum when he received some House of Representatives members elect at his residence in Abuja. Governor Peter Mba of Enugu State was on the ground to monitor compliance with the ban on sit at home in the state. The governor recently cancelled the sit at home order in the state observed on Mondays to press home for the release of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu. Days after the order, Governor Mba visited the Enugu State Secretariat and other places in the metropolis to observe compliance with the move. Adewale Egbedum, representing Odo Otsin State constituency in the Oshun State House of Assembly, has emerged as the Speaker of the Assembly. Agbedun is a member of the People's Democratic Party PDP in the 8th session of the Oshun State House of Assembly. He was elected on Tuesday after being nominated by Ibrahim Abiola of Irewa Role Isukan constituency and seconded by Irioye Samuel, another member. Speaker of the 9th Lagos Assembly, Mudashiro Obasa Agege Won, has been elected Speaker of the 10th Assembly, ABN TV reports. This emergence followed a nomination and general acceptance by the law makers elect monisola lasbat apapa one chief whip of the ninth assembly was also elected deputy speaker of the tenth assembly after her nomination and general acceptance by the house the national population commission npc has stated that it will register 12.72 million children who are less than five years of age in 2023 according to nan reports Matthew Sunday, NPC Director of the Vital Registration Department, 
spoke on Monday at an orientation on birth registration in MENA, Niger State. He said the increased targets will improve child birth registration in the country. The Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, on Monday night confirmed that it will no longer proceed with its nationwide strike planned for Wednesday. The resolution was announced by the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabiamila, and confirmed by the President of the Nigerian Labour Congress, Joe Ajero, after a nearly six-hour meeting between the federal government and the organized labor at the presidential villa Abuja. The Senate on Tuesday approved President Bola Ahmed Tinibu's request to appoint 20 special advisors, ABN TV reports. Tinibu's letter of request was read at plenary by Senate President Ahmad Lawan. After the letter was read, Senate leader, Senator Ibrahim Gobe, APC Sokoto East, moved that the Senate do consider the request of Mr. President CNC for the approval of the Senate to appoint 20 special advisors. On foreign sin, former U.S. Vice President Mike Pence has officially filed paperwork to join an increasingly crowded field of Republicans running for president. Mr. Pence, 63, is set to formally launch his campaign with a video, speech, and town hall event in the early voting state of Loa on Wednesday. While on sports, Flying Eagles head coach Ladan Boso is set to vie to lead Nigeria Football Coaches Association for another term in office as president of the body. The coaches' body's election scheduled for June 18th in Abuja may see Boso, who led the Flying Eagles to the quarterfinals of the 2023 FIFA U20 World Cup in Argentina, return unopposed as nobody else has picked a form to contest the presidency of the coaching body with less than two weeks to the election. And that brings us to the end of the news at 8 for Pogo Recap of our major headlines. Governor OT sacks all revenue enforcement officers. NLC suspends planned nationwide strike. Tinet OK's appointment of 20 special advisors by President Tinibu. For these and many more, log on to our website at www.abntv.com.ng. You can also follow us on any of our social media platforms on the studio screen. Have a lovely night, trust. I am Chinyo Omai.